What's up internet, Senior Whoopi here, and welcome to another action driving vlog. It's been like a week since I've recorded one of these because nothing's happened. And I'm also extremely lazy for some reason this week and I've woke up like five minutes to get to work, at least twice. So I'm kind of pissed off at myself about that really like to get back into a good sleep schedule because I think it's my sleep schedule that's fucking it up. Sleeping at 7.20 and 8 o'clock in the morning, not really a good strategy. But, uh, yeah. So I know, if you've watched my channel for the last week or so, you know I've been, I unbox some Pokemon cards and stuff, so you know I've got like a little, some love for the uh, trading card game. Now, I went out of my way to make sure that the trading card game would work on my PC recently, and that game is fucking awesome! I don't know if you've ever been interested in playing the trading card game online, or anything like that, but it is fucking good. Downloaded that shit, uh, it took a minute, like, maybe about 30 or 40 minutes, because it was quite large and my internet's quite slow. But, um, man, the sun is bright, but it's so fucking good. You can, um, you can basically see all the cards that are out at this current time, rather than, like, searching YouTube videos or going to Pokemon's website, which only shows you, like, the Megas and the EX Pokemon, which, granted, that's what a lot of people are very interested in, but I, I like all the cards. It's not a card that I really dislike, but there's at least, you know, one or two that just suck, and I'm tired of getting them in packs. But the trading card online game, you can buy packs, you can buy booster boxes, not booster boxes, what am I trying to say, the, uh, the decks, like the starter decks, that come with, like, pre-set out cards from Pokemon, which, uh, nine times out of ten are pretty good. I have, like, a Zoroark deck that... I put the trading card code, like the, uh, the online code in the game and it gave me the whole deck with the coin and everything. It was very nice. So, I was actually, I did that with two. I have two, um, like when you start the game online, you don't even need to have these code cards, even though I give them away sometimes. So like pay attention and you might just get your hands on a few, but, um, hello. See, what was I trying to say? Oh yeah, when you start the trading card game, you don't really need code cards or anything like that. It gives you cards, and um, you don't even have to have internet connection, even though it really helps. I think you actually do have to have internet connection, because um, every time I pull up a card that I've never seen before, it loads it from an internet database. So, uh, there's that. You probably have internet for that. Mine's so slow that sometimes it takes, like, over a minute or two just to display a high-res image. So that's wonderful, but again, you don't need cards or anything to do this, you just need time, really. Because there's a AI that you can battle, and the more and more you battle the AI, the more points and money you get. So you can use the points to buy more Pokemon cards. Because there's nothing really else to do with Pokemon cards besides buy, like, avatar items, which are kind of cool, because, uh, there is a versus mode in Pokemon Online where you can verse real people at any time. And there's three sets of decks. There's, like, Standard, Limited, and Unlimited, I think. I could be mistaken about the last two, but Standard I know is for sure. And then, then of course, there's Theme Decks. And that's what I was trying to talk about earlier, was the, uh, pre-made decks by Pokemon. But make your own decks out of all the cards you have, you can trade cards with people, you can not only trade cards for cards, you can trade, like, stuff in the Pokemon game, you can trade, like, card sleeves and coins, like Pokemon coins, I traded a Pokemon coin and a War Turtle for an EX, like a Dark EX card, I really don't know what the Pokemon's name is, but it's fucking badass Pokemon, so, um, Anyway, I'm going to do a, maybe not a running show, but I mean, I 
really into this Pokemon online game, so I might play it more than just once. It's like, if you've ever played Hearthstone, it's like that, but it's, it's still Pokemon. If you grew up playing Pokemon and like loving the trading card game, the Pokemon trading card online game has been updated to the point of where it just feels so perfect. There is very little missing that I wish it had. You just turn that music off and <laughs> turn the sound effects off and you'll be just fine. My phone is going off. Alright. Don't text and drive. But that Pokemon game, worth it. The Pokemon website on like your normal web browser moves a little slow, but don't let that be any inclination of what the game is like because I believe whoever made the website and whoever made the game were not in the same room at the same time because there's a lot of shit that they could have learned from the, the makers of the game. That website loads like shit. But I believe the, uh, the game is able to be played in offline mode. That's why there's AI and stuff like that to fight. Even though the AI is so stupid. If you play the game, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about, but it's, it's not bad. You have to get certain wins to get free cards too, so like fighting the idiot AIs is a good way to do that. But that's that's what I've been addicted to the last I wanna say like four days, maybe five days. That's why you haven't seen many videos or anything like that. I've been busy just doing nothing. Which is what I do best. But normally I record it. This week I've just been like, record it? Psha! I'll make stuff later on. Didn't make shit. So. Ooh. I really gotta clean my car out a little bit. <laughs> hmm. So, it's December now. Only yada yada days till fucking Christmas. Woo. For Christmas I have a few set Pokemon code cards that I'll probably just give out on the channel. So um, if you're watching this video you now have a heads up for that. It'll probably be in an unboxing video. I probably have a special Pokemon unboxing video coming up here soon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I bought the um, the Elite Trainers box that has Mega Gengar on the side. Comes with eight packs of Pokemon cards for thirty-four dollars. If you do some quick math, that's you basically get about two or three packs for free. <laughs> so that's, that's worth it. Not to mention you get these like special. Uh, damage counter dice, which are really nice compared to what you get with the uh, theme decks, which is just punch out cardboard pieces. Which, granted, they do the trick, but they are so shitty looking and they get lost so easy that why, why bother? Like, why would you not make these things out of plastic? I know, granted, I have three in real life, I have three theme decks that I bought. So that means I have, like, a bag of these motherfucking coins, these uh, damage counters, that are worthless. Like, almost everything else in that theme deck, even the box that it came in, is worth money to a collector. These, like, damage counters, they ain't worth shit. So, I kind of wish they would uh, change that around. But now it's an iconic thing, so fuck it. But now I'll have a uh, damage counter dice, so that's cool. I, I'm gonna just assume that they go up past six, even though they look like normal dice, but we'll see. Actually, just using like two or three dice could probably equal up, what, like 180? So, I'd say you could uh, take four dice and make good damage counters out of them. Some Pokemon now are like over 200 though, so you'd need like 
so you got two EX Pokemon fighting, they're both at 220, and you got three dice on that one, and three dice on the other. Uh, what was I trying to say? Oh yeah, you'd be out of the dice. So, because I think this Gengar pack comes with uh, six dice, and then like a special coin flip dice, which looks really cool. Can't wait for that. Also, it has um, card sleeves in it, and I hope they're fucking legit, so I can use them. That'll be nice. So, all Pokemon themed action driving vlog. I used to really kind of want to keep the fact that I played Pokemon just to myself and some of my close friends, but I really don't give a fuck. It's Pokemon. It's fucking world phenomenon shit. If you didn't play Pokemon when you were my age growing up, like, Shit, you missed out. I'm sorry. It was great. I, uh, wasted a lot of time <laughs> enjoying trading, collecting cards. The only thing I do regret is, uh, getting rid of my set of Pokemon cards about, like, 2011, 2012. I hit hard times and was like, yeah, it's time to... It's time to get rid of these Pokemon cards. I'm not doing anything with them. Nobody plays Pokemon anymore. So, I think I sold them all at the flea market for like 80 bucks. I had maybe seven, eight hundred cards. Rares. Special rares. There were no secret rares or anything like that. That's something that's new in Pokemon if you haven't been playing recently. Is now they not only have rare cards, Reverse hollow rare cards, which reverse hollows can come in any size. They also have um, EX Pokemon full art, Pokemon Ultras, uh, and now secret rares, which are just ridiculous. <sighs> but enough talk about Pokemon. Eventually, you guys will hear me talk on about it forever if you wish because there will be a video on the IRL channel coming out and a video on the gaming channel coming out that'll be about Pokemon. So if you, this interests you, uh, subscribe to both channels and let me know and um, hell, I might reward you with a code card for being awesome. But again, my name is Senior Whoopi. You've been watching the Senior Whoopi IRL channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and favorite. Go out there and play some Pokemon. Draw.